Some Florida homeowners rebuilding after Hurricane Ian scrambling to figure out how to bear the cost. That's right. And as CBS 4's Christian Benavidez reports, one of the big problems here is an insurance industry in the state that's on the brink of collapse. Three months after Hurricane Ian, John Gaunt is just starting to rebuild. Gutting the first floor of his house, which was completely submerged during the storm. For now, he, his wife, and their eight children are living in a camper next to their home. If you can afford the good insurance, uh, you might be in a better place. But if you're the normal blue collar worker, good luck. Gone says the flood policy he would need is simply out of reach. Because of our dwelling, we have to spend $8,000 a year just to get basic flood that will cover some goods lost, but it wasn't going to cover our downstairs. It wasn't even going to cover my upstairs until my countertops. Gaunt does have property insurance, but it doesn't cover much in this case, and it still costs Floridians a lot. Average annual premiums are more than $4,200, triple the national average, and the high cost has some homeowners foregoing insurance. While Florida accounts for only about 8% of nationwide insurance claims, it's responsible for nearly 80% of homeowner insurance lawsuits, leading agencies to file for bankruptcy or flee. In some areas, that's left state-owned citizens' property insurance filling the void and taxpayers holding the bag. 84 yeas, 33 nays, Mr. Speaker. Show the bill passes. New legislation passed in December is aimed at limiting litigation and attracting more insurance companies to the Sunshine State. It will take time, but I am confident that we have set the measures in place that are necessary to restore a healthy market like we enjoyed not so many years ago. Critics say this hands all the power to insurance companies. The reality is the Floridians' rates are increasing. The reality is that claims are being denied and it's taking too long uh, to resolve those. Less than 20% of homes in the country's most flood-prone state carry a flood policy, leaving families like the Gaunts on their own to rebuild. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Fort Myers Beach, Florida.